Hey guys, it's me again, Briggs Guy. Um, well, my friend and I went 50-50 and bought uh, this go-kart here. We bought it for, um, uh, it was 120 bucks uh, in total, and we both went 60 in. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be seeing this in lots more videos now. Um, this engine, uh, it's a, it's actually a Honda. Uh, it's a 4.5 horsepower. Um, doesn't seem to have any compression, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's a stuck valve. It was a pretty good price, and we had to buy one when, when we uh, heard that the guy was selling it. So uh, first, I'm just gonna uh, take off the engine, and I'll start to crack that open, and. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a stuck valve because it has some oil in it and uh, it's been sitting outside for a long time so it could have been sitting with the valve you know open and it could have just kind of rusted a little bit inside of it. Okay so first what I'm going to try and do is take off the carburetor so I can get at this valve cover panel and see if the uh, valves are actually sticking or not. Okay so the uh, muffler had to come off. Now I'm just pulling the carb off. Never done too much work to these Holland engines. I guess we'll have a see. Let's have a look. Looks like there's something inside. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of guide or retainer or something. Yep, it's just as I thought. Now uh, let's just see if we can get that valve on stuck. See if we can throw a screwdriver in there. All right. This is an easy way to see if your valves are stuck. What I have here is the access panel taken off for the valve springs. And when you turn the engine over, just by pulling it here, you can see how the one valve, well the cam moves the one valve up, then it goes back down. Then it should move the other valve up, but that valve is stuck open. That's a really quick and easy way to see if your valves are stuck rather than taking your top end off and, ha and probably having to uh, replace the head gasket. As you can see, uh, I, the, uh, the clip fell off of the valve and it fell down and the valve guides pretty fucked up uh, so I'm probably going to have to take the head off to actually unstick it uh, I've used some uh, liquid wrench to uh, unstick the little seat at the bottom there um, but the actual valve guide is, uh, is sticking with the valve there so I'm going to have to take the head off and hopefully the, and hope that the uh, head gasket doesn't come off with it Okay. Uh, I have the top shot off. Now I'm gonna take all these bolts out. Now when you take these heads off, you're gonna wanna make sure that the head gasket comes off in one piece. So uh, sometimes if they've been changed, they come off pretty easily but most of the time they're just kind of stock. So 
You always got to make sure they come off one piece if you want to reuse it. Really, you shouldn't reuse head gaskets, but I do if it's in good condition. And I find that if you're, if you're pretty delicate with them, you can get them off in one piece. Yeah, this gasket didn't come off very good, as you can see. See these little edges here? This is the metal. Gaskets are made from a composite paper-like material. Uh, it's like a paper, metal, and then the other layer is like a paper too. There's like a metal in the middle. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess I can try and use this gasket because it's not on the inside, right? But, uh, I don't know. For, for now, I'm just going to go with using this gasket. If it doesn't work out, then I'll probably just change it. There's quite a bit of carbon built up on here. Make sure you try and clean this as good as what you can. But make sure you don't uh, scuff up or scratch the, uh, the gasket or else it'll leak. Okay, this is the stuck valve. This is what happens when they stick. Some of the uh, symptoms to stuck valves uh, can be, you know, pulling and no compression. Uh, just, you know, if, if, if it runs kind of, uh, if it backfires through the, um, the intake a lot, like on every single uh, fire, uh, it might have a stuck or some kind of, or maybe like a lazy kind of valve. Uh, sometimes that can happen if the valve isn't closing completely. Sometimes if it, if it fires kind of uh, erratically or runs rough, it can have a stuck or lazy valve. Uh, sometimes that can happen from the valve guy getting uh, insuff uh, insufficient oil or um, even from the cam being screwed up. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of carbon on this. Like I can. I can scrape it right off with my finger. There's a lot of carbon buildup on this engine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean all this. Something I missed. Um, one, one way to tell if your uh, rings are bad or if the cylinder needs work is if you actually take your finger, uh, well your fingernail, and see if you can find a nick on the edge here. Try to find a clean spot because sometimes carbon will build up around the edge. So I can't feel any nick. Uh, so sometimes when the, the piston travels up and down, um, it doesn't actually come up. Like the piston comes out to the top, but the rings are down a couple of millimeters. So when the rings are down like that, it tends to wear a groove sometimes. And uh, sometimes older engines will be smoke, like they'll burn a little bit more oil than what they should. or those smoke blue smoke a lot. That can be caused from either you know uh, a cracked ring or um, having a rough cylinder, like if it's all scratched, uh, or having a really worn cylinder where you can feel a nick. It should feel like a little nick with your fingernail. This one's good. I can't feel anything. So I'm going to go ahead and try and remove this valve, or at least unstick it. Going to spray a bit of the. Uh, penetrating spray in here. This stuff works pretty good. And what you're going to want to do is lightly top it with a, uh, um, with, a with, with a rubber mallet. Don't tap it too hard or else you might bend the valve. Looks like the valve's starting to move. Make sure you lightly pry up on this. If you pry it too hard, you can uh, crack the valve seat or uh, score the valve. Okay, here we go.
sometimes you gotta just keep working it up and down for it to actually want to move a little bit more. A little quicker that time. Okay. After working it and moving it up and down, uh, down for a little while, it wasn't moving, so I had to use some vice grips. Um, doesn't look like I damaged it too bad. Now I'm going to clean this thing up. Okay, I've got the valve all nice and clean now. Um, make sure you clean the whole thing. Especially the uh, valve seat. What I always like to do is uh, take the valve and I'll, I'll lap it back in sometimes. Because the valve seat might get nicked or scratched if you try and take it out if it's stuck. Now we'll see if it slides back in. Oh, that's a lot better now. Now that this valve has been taken out, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take out this other valve. Just so I can clean everything and give everything a nice cleaning. I don't have to take out the other valve, but I'm just going to because I'm I'm already at the stage with the whole uh, head off and everything, so I might as well. 